Is it worth losing all of this in the name of a green transition? FM4 Klima News. This is the Plaza Valley in Tyrol, a stunning landscape of flowing water, jumping frogs, bogland and high mountains. But this will all disappear if TVAG, the electricity company, builds a massive hydroelectric plant here. That's good for the climate crisis, perhaps, but is it worth the sacrifice of this priceless biodiversity? Mariana Gutsch of the WWF says this project would be an environmental disaster. The water that you see now would be gone. Here would the, be the starting of the dam. So here would be stones piling up to a height of 120 meters. That is almost as high as the St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna. The problem is that electricity use is set to rise and rise as we phase out fossil fuels, says TVAG, the company behind the project. If we want to change our systems, have electric heating and electric vehicles instead of gas boilers and diesel cars, we will need more electricity. That's why the power station must be built, says TVAG's board director, Johan Herdina. If we would have the chance and the possibility not to have to build it because we would have enough renewable energies coming at any time we need them from any production that there could be, we would be accepting it and we wouldn't have to build it. But we believe within the next 10 years, and that is about the realization time that there is for this project, there will be the absolute need and we will have to sacrifice some of our lovely nature, which we are very aware of, we are responsible for it. Conservationists are famous for saying no. No to fossil fuels and no to nuclear power. So can they remain credible and realistic if they also say no to hydropower, a renewable source? What we need is a nature-friendly energy transition. So WWF is not against hydropower in general, not at all. But still, that doesn't mean that we have to expand hydropower at any cost. So we have to check for nature friendliness and nature compatibility. And this special project here, the hydropower plant Kaunatal expansion, is not nature friendly. And it's uh, a destruction of nature to an extent and a damage to people and nature that is not sustainable. We are in a very ecologically unique place. This is a high alpine a valley in a very near natural state. You have a river meandering through the bed of the valley, making its freeway, having gravel and sandbanks, which are habitat for a dozen of uh, endangered and protected species. Do we have a very difficult choice to make? Do we have to choose between climate protection and biodiversity protection? Hopefully not. Hopefully we will be able to um, save the climate from climate change, but also save biodiversity. But I think we we'll have to have a compromise in some parts, somewhere, and uh, that we will have to accept in, the, in our society. Johan says that one of these compromises might involve digging up the important biodiversity and moving it to a different patch of mountainside. He says a separate hydropower project in Tyrol has shown that this is possible. We have just shown with the project in Kutai that we have transplanted one of these biodiversity places into another place and it has worked perfectly. Nobody thought it would work that well. But it has worked. So what do the conservationists suggest? If we say no to this project, then surely we'll have to find the renewable sources of energy elsewhere. There's two billion uh, euros invested in this expansion Kaunatal hydropower project. If the same money was to be put in photovoltaics and solar, you could have more energy and faster and with less problems and uh, conflicts with people and nature. Well, we are having lots of projects with photovoltaic and we are building photovoltaic and the larger, first large open space photovoltaic um, plants are going to be finished in September this year and we are planning to invest over 100 million euros up to 2030 into photovoltaic plants and that is a challenge because you have to get the permits to do so. At the end of the day, if we don't want to choose between fossil fuels, nuclear power 
or the destruction of nature. We might just have to think a bit more deeply about the way we live our lives. We sure have to make some sacrifices, but they must be chosen well and thought through well. And the first thing we need to start with, talking about climate crisis, is changing of our behavior and consumption patterns. So we need to start energy saving programs and we need to stop using that much energy in the first place.